Memorial Healthcare System is dedicated to the health and safety of our patients. Low-dose CT scanning is just one more example. A traditional computerized tomography, or CT scan, combines a series of X-ray images taken from different angles around your head and uses computer processing to create cross-sectional images that provide detailed information about your brain tissue and brain structures. Our low-dose CT scans use less radiation than standard CT scans and provide the same high-quality images. Brain low-dose CT scans may be done with or without contrast. If you are prescribed a contrast, your procedure will include a contrast material that's given through a vein. The contrast material makes it easier to visualize certain tissues or blood vessels. Your doctor will advise if it's needed. Before your arrival, remove metal objects, which might interfere with image results. You are encouraged to drink clear liquids. Tell your doctor if you have any allergies. Make sure you bring a copy of your prescription, your insurance information, and a picture ID. At Memorial Healthcare System, we value your time and we make every effort to ensure that your appointment is timely and easy to schedule. You can provide us with your medical information before you arrive by using Memorial's MyChart portal. You can also provide this information when you arrive to one of our imaging centers. Once you're checked in, you'll be taken to the imaging department where a CT technologist will prepare you for your scan. The technologist will then discuss any additional details and answer any questions you may have. CT scanners are shaped like a large donut. They allow doctors to see inside your body in detail. You lie down on a motorized table that gently slides through while your images are being acquired. For your safety and comfort, straps and pillows may be used to help you stay in position for your scan. If your exam requires contrast material, it will be administered once you are positioned on the CT table. The technologist will wait 90 seconds after the IV contrast is administered and your images will be acquired. As the scanner begins to rotate around you, low-dose X-rays will pass through the brain for short amounts of time. The low-dose X-rays absorbed by the body's tissues will be detected by the scanner and transmitted to the computer. The computer will transform the information into an image to be interpreted by the radiologist. Each rotation produces several images of thin slices of your body. You will hear buzzing and whirling noises. You must remain very still during the procedure. If the IV contrast is used, you may feel a warm sensation throughout your body. You might also experience a temporary metallic taste which dissipates very quickly. You will feel no pain and little to no discomfort. When the procedure has been completed, you will be removed from the scanner. The entire appointment will take up to 30 minutes. Once the images are complete, the procedure is over. You can get dressed and resume your normal day. After your procedure, your images will be analyzed by a radiologist who specializes in low-dose CT scans of the brain. The test results will be made available to you through your designated healthcare provider or doctor within two to three days. All images will be stored and available at any Memorial Healthcare System Imaging Center. Patients will also have access to their report using Memorial's MyChart portal. When you're ready to schedule your low-dose CT scan and you have your physician's prescription, simply call Memorial Centralized Scheduling. An appointment can be made at your choice of imaging center locations. Your doctor can also schedule your procedure, often the same day. At Memorial Healthcare System, we only provide low-dose CT scans and eliminate unnecessary use of contrast materials. All Memorial Imaging Centers include a team of fellowship-trained, board-certified, sub-specialized radiologists. At Memorial Healthcare System, we offer price transparency because we believe the cost of healthcare should be available before a patient makes a choice.